Hey, Funko Monsters, it's me, the Funko Monster. Today is Funko Friday, and that means I get to show off my pops. And today was my last day in school. So, that means a lot more videos to come, at least once or twice a week, not including Funko Friday. So, uh, if you've been waiting me to, cons to consistently upload, now is, uh... Now's the time to actually be subscribed. This cable's all messed up. It's like all tangled up together. Alright. Okay, uh, yeah, so I got some pops. I went to a, a Comic Con, um, last weekend. You can see one of the autographs I got. I got Pinhead and one of the the survivor. I think she was the survivor. Um, well, a ca a person from a counselor from Friday the Thirteenth Part Two, and you can see up there, right here, uh, the American Werewolf in London. All nice people. Um, I was gonna meet Danny Torrance, the kid, the guy that played him. You know, back in the 80s, but I was gonna meet him, but he was charging 50 bucks for an autograph, and I was already, I was kind of like, I'm gonna spend some money here, so I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna get him. He's just a kid, I mean, if he was a kid, I'd pay 50, if he was still a kid, I'd pay 50 bucks, but since he's not, you know, um, unfortunately, no, I'm, I'm not paying that much. Anyways, speaking of which, they did announce that they are making a Doctor Sleep, which is a sequel to The Shining. Excuse me. Uh, they're making a Doctor Sleep, which is the sequel to The Shining, and Ewan, Ewan McGregor, uh, McGregor, something like that, is going to be playing him, which I think he's a good actor. He was in the uh, prequels. Anyways, not going in any order. I'll say what I got at the con and what I didn't. Uh, but, actually, I'll do this. Towards, I'll do this after the con stuff. Uh, I get, I get, get this right away, I got this, um, towards my, towards when I was leaving the con, um, <clears throat> I did finally pick up the PX Previews exclusive Ghost Rider, which I think looks fucking awesome, and, I'm thinking about starting, uh, making a video saying why I think Hasbro and Funko are going against each other. They're putting out the same characters of the same variant. It's very, you know, um, sketchy. Not sketchy, it just seems very uh, coincidental that, you know, this came out and then a few months later, this comes out. So, you know, I don't know, it, it, it's just a little weird, and I would like to make a video, because, um, let's see, there's another one, um, Funko does a bunch of Gwenpool pops, they make the Gwenpool figure, um, Black Panther, you know, this is Infinity War, those are not really... Evidence, they're just like, oh, the movie's coming out. Here's some products, you know. So, I don't know. But, yeah, but this, still, this guy looks awesome. Uh, I wish he had the blue paint like the Marvel Legends did. Or what I might do is Pop versus Marvel Legends. Or Star Wars Black Series, but that's more unlikely just because... Yeah, but mo I'm most likely, if I'm gonna do it, it's gonna be Marvel Legends versus Funko Pops. Um, but, yeah, this looks cool. I really do like this. I don't know who I'd give it to. I mean, I would have to, like, really sit down and think about it, but I really do like this. I, I, I don't know if I'm going to display them out of the box. I might. I'm just so debating on it because it just look really cool. So I did get this for 24 bucks. I didn't overpay, but whatever. I mean, it's fine. Uh, it was 30 the guy said 25, I only had 24. Well, I mean, I had more money than that, but it was, I only had four ones, and I didn't feel like breaking another 20. So, he did give me for a dollar cheaper, so I'm good at 
negotiating. Um, I did get three mystery minis. I know that's not really what most people... That's, okay, no one really watches these videos, but... Like, very few people. And thank you for watching. I really do appreciate it. And I'm glad that you stick through the whole video to watch, if you do. But, uh, you're here for the pops, I think. And I'm here to tell you the pops more than the dwarves, more than the figures, more than the autographs, more than the, than, than my day, than my week, than, well, I mean the week, kind of, because that's how I got them. But, not the mystery minis. But, I did get three mystery minis for ten bucks Ten bucks, three mystery minis. I got Venom, Thanos from the Infinity, Venom from the uh, Spider-Man uh, mystery mini line, Thanos from the Infinity War line, and Chewbacca from the classic 40th anniversary line. So, yeah, I'm pretty happy to get, I got those. I got these two for ten bucks at a booth, which is really good, uh, actually. According to Pop Price Guide. I think I overpaid for one, no, like by a dollar or two, and then underpaid for one. I think she's worth seven bucks, she's worth like eleven. Um, whatever, I mean, ten bucks for both, not bad at all. The boxes are pretty good, uh, but, yeah, I got these at the con. It was confusing, okay, it's called Scarecon, it was a horror theme, that's why it's a lot of horror elements, kind of. The horror people and the Ghost Rider kind of horror in a way, because you know Ghost, and then Walking Dead. So it was Scarecon. It's in Framingham, Massachusetts, so far away from me. Um, but I have a feeling it's the same people. The same people who run it is where I go to Super Mega Fest, which used to be in um, Marlboro, but they moved it. To Framingham this year. And they used to have it two times a year, but now it's just one, which just kind of sucks. But it, it used to be in spring and fall, now it's just in the, in the fall. And I think they would have made a little more money. If they switched Scarecon to the fall, because it's in October, not like mid October, and and then this, you know, Super Mega Fest was in the spring, I think they b both make more money. So, I don't know. But. Pretty happy to get these two. I could actually do the set review because a few days later I was buying something expensive on Amazon, like always, and uh, I did pick up him for four bucks. Uh, so I definitely underpaid for him, which is good. I'm gonna mute this because for some reason I'm popular now. But uh, yeah, so I can't do a set review. I do have the other two pops. Uh, so, set review of this coming soon. I need to watch season eight. Yeah, see the me. I do need to watch that, because, um... And, and here's... Th okay, I'm just gonna say this now. Let's talk about The Walking Dead a little bit, okay? The Walking Dead fans are probably the best fans in the whole... Like, t for, like, television. They're the best fans any TV show could ever have, okay? They sit through bullshit after bullshit, boring shit... Listen, we want to see Rick and maybe a couple other characters. Not the side characters that you give us a little bit and we kind of care about, then you fucking kill them off. Okay, we don't we don't want those. We, we want Rick, Carl, Glenn, Megan now. Um, I mean, kind of Carol. I could, I mean, I could live without seeing her again. Um. Daryl, I mean, he's overrated in my opinion, but still, Daryl, I want to see, you know, the fans are the best fans ever, because they, they hold the writer's hands, and they're like, yeah, okay, come on, give us something good, you know, oh, that was kind of, that was kind of shitty, that was really bad, don't do that again, oh, you did it again, it's okay, just keep on. Yeah, uh, sorry, my Hot Topic just posted something and I have to check. God damn it, they got Panda Pool. I gotta go. Um, yeah, they, uh, I went there yesterday. I did get a pop there, so I will tell you which pop. But, I went there yesterday and said, he said that it was either gonna be there today or next week. So, looks like they got it today. That's good. Fucking great. Anyways. 
peach tea. Really good. Not my favorite flavor. My favorite flavor is uh, snowberry and peach. Peach is kind of going down because of snowberry, but. Uh, so yeah. What was I talking about? <laughs> yeah, The Walking Dead. The Walking Dead fans, the writers, should be very fucking grateful that they got on this far. And I don't so strong anymore because the fa I guess the fans are really not liking it anymore. And Andrew Lincoln apparently is leaving. I hope not because he's the fucking heart of the show. Ah, uh, I want to spoil it a little bit, but even I don't know what happened. Anyways, I feel like I got yeah I did get more. I got one more pot at the con Scarecon. He actually went up uh, on Target on Target's website today. I'm sure it's sold out, but uh, I got it for 28 bucks. The box is a little dinged up. This is I don't want to close, but I just put them up like that and it closed. But uh, I'm definitely not putting this guy on my shelf, unfortunately, because he's laying sideways, so he's gonna take up a lot more room than a normal pot. So I don't know. I mean, yeah, I'm probably not gonna. Yeah, that's not the best paint job. Back. But I was the only one, so. Yeah, I really do like this. You can see the little ding on there. Which is fine, I mean, a little one. It's a, a cut right there. Yeah, it's not, it's not terrible. Apparently it's not even worth 30. I'm rounding up. So, whatever. I'm just glad to have it. Uh, so, yeah. Alright, flash forward to last night. I went to Newberry Comics and I picked up the flop the 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 raptor. I'm sorry, I botched that. The raptor! Uh yeah, this this pop looks awesome. Uh, so now I just need one more pop, and that's the, uh, T-Rex. Someone called me and interrupted the clip. But yeah, I got the Velociraptor. I forget what I was talking about, because it's been, like, a few minutes. But, yeah, so I got the Velociraptor. It looks really cool. Um, top ten pops of the year so far. Um, by the way, they did show off, uh, some of the SDCC exclusives. Uh, yeah, I want a lot of them, but, uh, I'm probably gonna do a separate video talking about them, each and every one, maybe, and, uh, talking about them, and if I want them, or if it's a pass, so, anyways, what's up next, I had one more, it from, oh, okay, so, I, it, at, um, most of the time at um, Newberry Comics, it's buy one, get one 50% off of Pops. So, I was hoping they had the T-Rex, but they didn't, whatever. But I did continue this set, the Stranger Things uh, Season 2 second set. I don't know. Basically, this set, this is like the second one after the first Stranger Things set, so, I don't know what I'm gonna say for this, like, season two, part two set, I don't even know, uh, but I do need one more pop, I do have the exclusive, the variant, but I do need Steve, so just one more, and then I'm, and then I'm done with this, but, and then the set review will come, but this looks awesome, this is probably my favorite pop from this line, either him, or Eleven, Elevated, it's probably going to be Hopper. His nose is a little scuffed up, but whatever. You can't really tell. So yeah, pretty happy about that. And then last, I went to Hot Topic, and I did pick up Jack Jack. I don't know. I don't know, man. I really don't. Uh... I guess this is not Funko's fault. This is the designer of Jack Jack's fault. They gave him a base. I mean, you don't need it, but you can see, you know, he's chromed. 
Um, you see, I would pay full price for this because it's exclusive, it's different. But I would not pay full price for the retail one because it's so small. There's not even the Incredibles logo on the chest. Because again, I continue it, but. It's not Funko's fault. I thought it was, but it's not. It's uh, Pixar's fault uh, for not putting the logo on him. So, you know, it kind of takes it away. Like, I would get every single Jack Jack except for the retail one. Unless it was like five bucks. Or cheaper, even. But yeah, this looks pretty cool. I do like this. Jack Jack was awesome in Incredibles 2. I did have a chance to go see it, and I'm pretty happy I did because great movie. When the pop's so small, this feels so big and, like, huge. And it seems unnecessary, but whatever, I mean, still. So all I, all I need from this is, I mean, pretty much from Miss, Mrs. Incredible and on, or Elastic Girl and on. That's all I need. Um, I want the uh, Target ex exclusive um, Elastic Girl. I wish there was a, a chase of Mr. Er, just an exclusive of Mr. Incredible in his first appearance uniform. Um, good movie. I love both movies. They're very smart, you know. They're, like the first one, it has some pretty dark shit in it. So, I don't know. Anyways, uh, you can tell the momentum of this video kind of got killed because. My uncle called me, so. Whatever, it's fine. Uh, I'll just put these two clips together, and, uh, yeah. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give a thumbs up, leave a comment down below. What are you hunting this weekend, and what did you get this past week? A lot of, uh, it kind of makes me feel left out, but a lot of people go toy hunting during the weekend, uh, and not over the week. That's kind of why I like uh, Sergeant Funko and Sensi Nerd because they take time, their time and like record within a few days or even weeks apart. So uh, yeah, um, nothing wrong with posting same day videos. I mean, that's, I'm, that's what I do. So anyways, I like what I'm doing now. Anyways, thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video. Have a good weekend. I'm out of school. Kinda of sucks because I was I was getting close to my teachers. Um, so what are you gonna do? I'll see them in a few months. Uh, anyways, see you guys in the next video. Peace. Thanks for watching.